Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hope you're having an amazing day. If you want to snag yourself the highest performance gaming processor, there's a good chance you're interested in the Ryzen 9000 X 3D CPUs. And the good news is AMD have officially confirmed that these processors are incoming and have given us some hints to the release date. And additionally, the vanilla processors will be receiving a pretty significant price cut, and that's official as well. So we're going to be talking about all of that, plus some pretty amusing uh, updates for the NVIDIA RTX 50 series of graphics cards. Basically some photos of what was thought to be an RTX 5090 leaked online. And well, let's just say it wasn't quite what we thought it was. And that's something we're going to be discussing right after this quick message from the sponsor of the video. This video is sponsored by scdkeys.com, but let's check out the Windows and Microsoft Office, starting with this deal for Windows 11. If you were to purchase this from the official Microsoft Store, it would cost you $199 US dollars. But you can use scdkeys.com and you can grab it for just $23.50 using our code RD25. If you prefer to stick with Windows 10, after all, you can still upgrade it later on down the line to Windows 11 if you choose. This can be available hugely discounted. And combined with that back to school sale with our code, the price goes down to just $16.80. If you're concerned about the legitimacy of the keys, here you can see us going through the payment process, receiving the code, and of course, that all important activation. And obviously this is a private account. They did not set this up for us. We made it ourselves with one of our own private email addresses. Plus, you can use our code RD25 to save that 25% on Microsoft Office codes. So that would make Microsoft Office 2016 available for just $28.60 if you're using our code. But these are just some of the uh, keys available. And there's just huge library of games, Windows and Office codes as well as much more. You can check the description to head straight to Windows 10, 11 or Office and use our code RD25 to save yourself 25% off of your order. Thanks again to STD Keys for sponsoring the video. So let's start things out, shall we, with a trailer and AMD's official Twitter accounts all started to plonk this on. Uh, I first spotted it because I'm following Jack Hyung, who is the SVD and GM of the Computing and Graphics Division over at AMD. That's quite a mouthful, but there was around a 25 second trailer and while you don't exactly get a ton of details in this trailer and that is putting it mildly you can blatantly see of course it is x3d reimagined i'll leave it in the comments below for you guys to take guesses of what they mean by reimagined i mean there's a lot of things you could kind of uh, look at that and kind of have some speculation over but either way you will see the date of 11 07 24 and just moments later, press started to get other stuff. So there was a slide that was also provided, teasing today. That sounds, well, it just sounds like something that wouldn't be necessarily tech related. Let's just say that. Anyhow, dirty thoughts aside, teasing today, AMD Ryzen X 3D, next gen gaming is almost here. The AM5 platform, PCIe 5, DDR5, and arriving November the 7th, 2024. Now, this release date probably isn't going to be too surprising if you've been following the rumors concerning these processors because basically there have been a lot of folks that have been speculating or leaking that at the very least some of the x3d processors will be releasing this year basically around the late october slash early november time frame and if you think about it very logically it makes a lot of sense because let's say the 9800 x3d is going to be the kind of cpu that a lot of gamers are going to be intrigued by and of course at this point when these processes become available to reviewers long story short you will have reviewers who have already had time to test Intel's Arrow Lake processors, and so they can give a like-for-like -like comparison. Now, before we get into some leaked specs of this processor, I just want to mention as well that, uh, again, there is a price cut that is now official, although there are actually bigger unofficial price cuts for the Ryzen 9000 series. But of course, those are going to be very region-dependent and what retailers you have access to, i.e. UK, which is obviously where I'm relegated to, is going to be a bit different to the US versus Canada versus Japan and so on and so forth but uh, there is a holiday promotion which is going to be coming the 20th of October so 
um, that was yesterday as of the time I'm recording this and the highest discount quote unquote is going to be 50 bucks for the 9950X and the lower end SKUs such as the 9900X are going to be 30 bucks. I do find that pretty interesting to be honest that the lower end CPUs because at least in my opinion a couple of the lower end processors here are actually slightly worse deals but that's just my personal opinion. I do think that there is a well you may as well just go up the skew list one more because you're going to get you know that many more cores i i think it's a very much a fomo thing for a lot of the prices for the ryzen Pro, uh, series i don't mean that in a negative way it's just like if you look at the uh, msrp especially of the launch of these processors you can very much say well god golly if i pay like you know not that much more i can get all these more cores but then i'm not that much more for getting even more cores so by the time you you uh you know you basically go from originally one of the 9600 x to talking yourself into getting a 9950 or something but that's beside the point but anyway let's talk a little bit about some leaked specifications now i do want to point out something very obvious these are specifications that are from a leak therefore if you don't get this for whatever reason i.e you know this is faked or what have you then obviously you can take that for what it is however igor kavanansky hopefully i've pronounced that correctly has managed to snag one of these processors on the anantech forums they are still alive at this point and basically there is a benchmark of a ryzen 7 9800x 3d uh, we can see here that the clock frequency is hitting 5.6 to 5.7 gigahertz so obviously they have done a little bit of tweaking basically there is precision boost overdrive with an offset it seems like to me anyway from my quick uh, glance over the images there was also a dawn trail score of uh, basically 60,300 points i'm not quite sure how that uh, pertains to other pro uh, to other graphics cards and processors because frankly i have absolutely no real insight into that game and its performance scaling so someone can probably provide better details in the comments below and additionally we see our friend and buddy Cinebench R23 and it's scoring around 25,200 points for multi-core and single core is 22, sorry, 2,261, 22,000 for a single core. Maybe in 10 years we'll get there, but for now 2,261 points. I'll give uh, courtesy credit here to videocards.com, which is where I initially spotted this. But now let's move over to something a little bit funnier. Um, basically, there were some images, and I believe this originated from Chip Hell, uh, where a lot of folks spotted this, but the video wasn't initially from Chip Hell. Again, I believe that's the case. Uh, the video basically started to pop up on uh, Billy Billy, uh, but again, it started to gain popularity because Chip Hell spotted this, and then other people, you know, started to, well, basically, you know how the internet works, so I don't really need to explain it. But long story short, um, there was a image, um, well, basically a video, and stills of this uh, video were essentially showing what was being considered to be a production quality RTX 5090, albeit it was a trial production of the 5090. Now, to my understanding, the basic backstory to all of this was that um, Zotac, who is the AIB in question where these videos originated, um, had basically created a new production facility which was located in Indonesia and basically they were testing performance and basically doing you know initial testing of this graphics card and again it was um, essentially being stated that it was an RTX 5090 that was being tested unfortunately and I didn't cover this when I first spotted it uh, mostly because one I was super busy with other stuff yesterday uh, which is when this really started to blow up on social media and secondly there was just something that didn't quite sit right with me for one what it seemed a little bit early for this to start popping up especially because this was like a new facility at least according to the understanding I had at the time this was a new facility and they were testing production of a new graphics card but also on top of that usually by the time mass production is starting to happen or at least this scale there are so many other leaks that i've traditionally seen and also the photos were just so bloody grainy i mean again i don't really need to tell you guys like can i buy more pixels please i i, I didn't know but anyway 
then um, I was initially going to cover un the room in a different way because um, Mega Size GPU, um, which is certainly an interesting name um, on Twitter, they've done tons of leaks previously, uh, also known as Zed Wang, had actually stated that it was not a 5090. It was essentially a variant of an RTX 4070 Ti. But now, quite funnily, uh, just as I was about to record that, literally maybe 30 minutes before uh, I was getting ready to record this, Zotac themselves came out and said, over the last couple of days, we've noticed inaccurate speculation circulating regarding the rumoured new graphics card product allegedly being manufactured by Zotac. We wish to seize, seize it, damn it, this opportunity to provide clarification that the product showcased in the association video source is in fact an existing product currently in production known as the Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super Solid. Did I say that right? RTX 4070 Ti Super Solid. Jesus, that name. Holy, just, just, Please, please, guys, like, chill, chill. There's no need to have a super solid, like, seriously. Anyway, the video has gone uh, viral online, pertains to internal test tra internal training recording of a trial production run at a facility in Indonesia. I feel like I've had a brain aneurysm, now I've uh, read the name of that graphics card, uh, intended to test the performance of a newly installed production equipments, end quote. So basically, it does at least based on the image here and also based on what um super uh, mega size gpu has said i think we can all agree that this is not right to my understanding um this is probably you know a nothing burger and again uh interestingly enough mega size gpu is basically stating and this is perhaps the most interesting part of all of this mega size gpu is saying it's only at the qualification stage now and so it can't be in the production line. Now, if that's the case, that's going to be really interesting. And this is actually one of the main reasons I wanted to cover this. Because if the, if his information is true, and I'm trying to get this confirmed from someone else. Um, I have, haven't been able to because obviously, again, I only spotted this like, you know, not too long ago. So I'll try to find out more information about it. But basically, if it is only in the QS stage right now, if January is the launch window of the 5090, which multiple rumors have now stated that it is the launch, or at the very least, it's when the cards are going to be uh, announced, but it does seem like the launch is happening in January. If it is only the qualification stage, either like it's going to be the fastest ramp up in the history of humanity, this rumor is incorrect, or incorrect, excuse me, or it's been delayed, and therefore it's not going to be available in January, or the amount of stock that you have for the 5090, it's, it, yeah, it's going to be, let's just say bad. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll be interested to see what happens and more information about this. Anyway, guys, I think that's just about it for this particular video. Apologies for, apologies for it being a bit bitsy. And apparently now, as I said, I feel like I've had a stroke since I read the Zotac graphics card name. But um, take care of yourselves. Have an amazing day. Bye for now.